How's it going? It's Drew. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a website and all the data that can come with the website, and we're going to put it into Excel. So the website will be connected to Excel using a uh, Mac uh, Apple product. We want to make sure um, it's, it's different than the PC. So I want to do a video to show how the Mac is different. It's more steps, a different process. And what we want to do is have data and we're going to uh, use Patrick Mahomes on Yahoo Sports. And we want to pull that in to a sheet in Excel. And it's connected to the website. So when he plays in an upcoming season, the uh, uh, information, the data will always update. That's what's important. It's not just copy and pasting the website data in there. We're actually bringing in the website. And it'll give us updated information. So if you have projects you want to do in, let's say, economics or finance, uh, the interest rate, anything like that, you want to put a website, the Federal Reserve's website in Excel, and you can play around with the data. So let's just do the steps, won't take long. I'll show number one. Here is um, the website. Patrick Mahomes, Yahoo Sports comes in really nice. So I like to use Yahoo Sports. And I wanna pull all this information, all his stuff into an Excel sheet. So I'm just going to copy that uh, URL. OK, if you have a PC, it's as simple as putting it from the web. It will say um, there'd be a web button. You could put a website in. But with Apple, you have to have a Word document. So hold on. I'm sure I get this correct here. So you have to have a Word document. I'm going to paste it, one I copied, pretty large. Hit enter a couple times, very important. You want to make sure it's a hyperlink. If it becomes black, like a text, it will not work. You want a hyperlink. OK, so then we're going to go to File up here. And I'm going to hit Save As. So we want to save this Word document. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, I have my own folder. Uh, you can put any folder you want. Um, Excel data. Uh, now, here's the important thing is, so Patrick, I'll say Patrick Ma, this, you can call this file anything you want. Patrick Mahomes, you say data, um, call any, that's not important, but what's important is after the name, you have to dot I Q Y. You have to hit the name of the file and then dot I, Q, Y, and then you have to go down to here, file format. It's gonna be something up here. It's gonna automatically pop up. You wanna hit plain text, okay? So first you do the name, you do dot I, Q, Y, and then plain text, and then I'm hit save. Okay, this will pop up automatically. So. When it pops up, the default is gonna be the Mac um, operating system. It's gonna default too. You want to select MS-DOS. You have to select the middle one and then hit okay. Okay, so, so far we took the website, we copied paste it into a Word document. When we saved the Word document, we call it a file name and we dot, um, hit dot IQY and then the uh, file format needs to be switched to plain text. Then once you hit save, they'll pop up a warning and you wanna hit the MS slash DOS. Okay, we got that saved. Now let's pull up Excel. What we wanna do is pull, um, insert that Word document into Excel. Okay, there's two, yet you wanna select data. You see this data here? Yeah, this data, this is not what you select. This is important. You want to go all the way to the top. Mac has a, um, the Apple symbol, and then you have Excel. You have a file where you save it. Then you have data. You want to select the data here on the top. So there's two datas, not the one in Excel, but the one from Apple. You want to go all the way down to get external data and then go to run web query. Okay, so the top data get external data, and then run web query, select that. 
And now all we're going to do is find a Word document. So I got my Excel data. Another small tricky thing is if you notice my Peyton Manning, my Patrick Mahomes data is clear. You can't pick it. So you want to do is hover over it, take two fingers on the Mac and select it. And then it gives you an option. You can like change the color. You can rename it. I'm going to hit rename. All that did was select it. I'm not going to rename it. It just selected it. And then you hit get data. Um, so you do uh, existing sheet or new. I just do existing. And it's going to say top left corner. It shows the file name getting data. So this will take about a minute. Once it comes in, sometimes shorter, everything on the website on that front page is going to come in and, and all the data is going to fit perfectly in a cell. This is really important if you are doing statistical research, anything that you need to have up to date data. Look at that. It has all the seasons, it has his rushing, it has his fumbles, and then actually has all those people as well. And you might want to delete that if you don't need it. So, why is it important? I could take, let's say, I'm going to create a new sheet down here. I could say, I want to know his average. So this could be the uh, part, I'm going to do the statistical analysis, the other ones importing the data. I'm going to hit average. And I'm going to go back to this sheet. I could just say, what is his average for these years? And it gives it to you. I could pull anything in there. I could pull his career stats. I could say, I could pull top 10 best quarterbacks and do the average rating. I could uh, show the average rating top 10 quarterbacks each year and show how the rating is going up. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Now, one more thing I want to show, and then be it for the video, is so the, it's pulled from the website, but this data, it's current because Patrick Mahomes hasn't played since we started the video. Once he plays, you're going to have new data. You have new information. You're going to have the game that the uh, 2020 playoffs or 2021 season will be updated. If you want updated information in your Excel sheet, you have to go to data on the Excel sheet right here. Okay. Then you want to hit refresh all. That's going to ref refresh all the websites that are connected. And then once you hit that, it's going to be blank. It should come up blank for a second or it's going to update really quick. It's taking some time. And all it's doing is pulling up the data from the website to make sure you have information. So if you're running information from the Federal Reserve, you may want to do it every morning you wake up and then your calculations are always gonna be updated on whatever data you're trying to solve. So there you go. That's how you upload information from Excel, uh, from a website into Excel using a Mac. It's totally different. So, um, if it was a PC, just to show this, under data, you would say, it would say get from web. And it's as easy as putting um, the website in, so much easier. Now, just to note, if you're using a computer, like I work at a school and the Excel is linked to Internet Explorer, if it's linked to a old browser, you may have to update the browser or it might not work properly. So. There you go. Uh, any questions, please uh, comment on the link if you liked it, uh, the video. Um, if you would like uh, more information about how to do things with a Mac, um, I'm new to Mac and I'm constantly learning how to do it. So I come from a PC background and I'm learning how to use the Mac and I learn um, it's totally different. Every function. It's kind of frustrating, but it's kind of fun. So.